simplify that when you see the five kilogram mass and to simplify it we'll say no friction for now. Don't worry, we'll add friction later. Okay, you're all set. Okay. First thing you always do is do an F E D. Always start with a free body diagram. Now since we have two objects, we're gonna end up with two free body diagrams. Object on the table, what free body diagram does it look like? Which of those forces is going to cause the acceleration? The tension. It's all four. What is the other free body diagram going to look like? Nope. Gravity and tension. Now, you said that the tensions are the same. The string is the same string, so the tensions there are going to be the same. Also, since they're attached together, they're going to have the same acceleration. Okay, so we're just going to stick these two in here. This will help us solve the problem. Now, after FBD, what do we do? Some of the forces. Now, which object would you like to start with? Five kilogram object to start with. All right. Some of the forces equals mass times acceleration. Which direction are we going to solve? the only direction of acceleration, so it makes sense to start in that way. Let's try to solve the problem in a different way. T equals MA. And we'll go ahead and plug in our numbers here so we don't get any confused with the masses. This is just for, yeah, that's right. This is for the five kilogram mass. So let's start just by solving the free body diagram of that object. So we do F equals MA. And now in which direction are we going to be doing that one? Y. Now it's not a problem for us to use one the X and one the Y. That's just mathematics we're talking about. The tension here in the X is equal to the tension in the Y, so we can substitute those. And for the acceleration, even though the five kilogram mass is accelerating in the X direction, substitute those values without doing any problems with them. Just to keep them simple. What forces do we have in the y direction over here? Which is the positive number? Gravity. Yes. The direction of acceleration we're always going to call positive. So it's downward for this one and to the right for that one. body diagram has two forces on it. This is some of the forces along with it. Plug in our values. Seven kilograms times ten. Minus the tension equals the mass times our mass the acceleration. I don't know tension or acceleration here. I don't know tension or acceleration in my blue. So I combine those two equations. Seven kilograms times ten to get seven squared over here. Minus the tension from the other guy. Five kilograms times A equals seven kilograms times A. So I just take this value and plug it in for T. Seven times ten minus five a equals seven a. Add five a 